those details. Barney so itchy about another scientist, but, well, I'm just a radio man. Dr. Maxwell's lab, if you can call it that, is at the other end of the canals. It's pretty secluded, and the Combine don't like to get out of the city very often, so you should be safe with him. Follow the canal path, and take down that chopper if you can. Rosa and I'll pack up here and get somewhere quieter. The free man's vehicle is prepared.
で。Dr. Maxwell's gonna be so happy to see you. Good work, Skitch. But try to notice the s c e n e next time. My name's Alex. Alex Vance. Dr. Maxwell's inside. Right this way. It must have been amazing working with the old lab team back at Black Mesa. There must have been so much going on. At least they got you two still around. Sorry. I know it's probably a sore topic. Did you find him? You, you, you. He wanted to put a message just a few minutes ago. Well, in that case, it's good to be not bringing him in here on a stretcher. <laughs> Very funny. You two mind if I get back to work on the teleporter? Well, don't let me stop you. We need all the help around here we can get. My name is Dr. Eli Maxwell, and this. Is my humble abode. You might remember me from that day at Black Mesa when all hell broke loose. It's good to see you again, Gordon. I know it's a long way from Kleiner's lab, so you must be tired, but feel free to have a look around while I work. Just go give Alex a nudge when you're done. Studying them for a while now. I'm hoping that by analyzing the differences between these rocks and the unaffected samples, I might be able to find. You're me. rambling again, Doctor. It's more of a personal project, at any rate. One took my leg many years ago, you know, so I thought it might take a bit of them too. Just make sure to steer clear of them if you see any. They've torn whole gunships apart before, and taken out whole squads of soldiers. I'd hate to see you fall prey to one of those green dust devils, too. Monster creature, sworn to kill and destroy. Seven-hour war. It's truly a terrible time. Breen sacrificed the whole planet to save himself. Now he's the consul, telling everyone how he knows what's best. If only I could give him a piece of my mind. Overwhelmed and destroyed. Lots of memories there. Captain Vance and I haven't really been able to talk to each other after we had to split. He had to take command of the conscripts, and I, well, I'm still here with Alex, just as he wished. It's a shame Vivian didn't make it. She was one of a kind. Too much. <laughs> Too much. You 
I've been working on that teleport for a few years now. Collecting the straps and fitting them all together. It's been a long haul. Should be up and running soon, though. Isn't that right, Alex? Yep. We'll make good time on it with Gordon to help us out. Indeed we will. Just about time we dusted off that old theoretical physics degree, right, Gordon? I'm all done with the oscillators. I'm gonna need to head out back to get the covering plate. Hey, Alex, go ahead and take Gordon with you. If he's gonna be here for a while, he might as well know how to work the manipulator. Really? All right. Come on, Gordon. I'm gonna show you something neat. Place back here to store leftover junk in various ways that we may need later. T Bot helps us out here sometimes. He's the big mech you saw inside the lab handling the equipment. I helped Eli build him. He needed a lab assistant after all. Prototype physics manipulator. Though I call it the fizz gun. It's pretty clunky, but it gets the job done. You can lift things too heavy for yourself and punt them around the place. Awesome! Oh, that never gets old. You never can see people tossing stuff around with the fizz gun, don't you, boy? Looks like you've got the hang of it. Let's head inside and see how Eli is getting on.
there a gun there? I don't know where the rest of your gear went from that cave-in. But your crowbar made it, luckily. Damn it! They're going to capture Dr. Maxwell and take him to the wasteland. I know it. We've got to try to cut them off. Come on, Skitch.